Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing more AP Calculus. We're going backwards in time. We're going to the 2017 AP exam. We're going to go through the free response questions. So why don't we get started with the first one here. A tank has a height of 10 feet. The area of the horizontal cross section of the tank at height h feet is given by the function a, where a of h is given is measured in square feet. When the function a is continuous, decreases h increases. Selected values of a of h are given in the table above. Use a Riemann left Riemann sum with three sub intervals indicated by the data to the table to approximate the volume of the tank. Indicate the unit of measures. Okay, so um, if I kind of think of the the h coordinates, I got zero. 2, 5, and then like 10 over here, right? And so my three sub intervals are 0 to 2, 2 to 5, and 5 to 10, because that's just what they gave me here. So for this one, I just want to make sure you guys can see it. Um, I want to do the height of the rectangle. I use the left point times the width. The first one is 2, has a width 2, and the height is 50.3, plus this width is 3, times um, the left end point would be 14.4 plus the last sub interval is 5 to 10 which is 5 times 6.5 and I will just use a normal calculator I still don't have a graphing calculator um, to show you guys 0.3 plus 3 times 14.4 plus 5 times 6.5 uh, 176.3, don't forget the units here. Each of these was square feet times uh, feet, so that's cubic feet. And that's correct, because that's what we were looking for volume. So, I mean, these are feet squared times. Okay, does approximation in part A overestimate or underestimate the volume of the tank? Explain your reasoning. Um, it's overestimating because the volume is decreasing decreasing so when you do this right it's a, it's an overestimate because a of h is decreasing and that's what happens um, and that's sufficient to answer that the area and square feet of the horizontal cross-section of height h is modeled by the function given by that based on the model find the volume of the tank integrate indicate the units of measure okay so I want to take f of h was the height right so if I think of it as there's a slice I'm gonna do f of h times dh this this is the this is the uh, area yeah this is the area times the height so this is volume so this is the volume of a particular slice I want the volume over the whole thing from 0 to 10 0 to 10 50.3 or e to the point 2h plus h dh. Now you definitely have to use a calculator to do this integral. Um, so I'm going to just do that over here. I mean, I might, if you guys wanted me to do a video on how you enter these into the calculator, that's fine. Um, it's, I, I need to just find like a good like um, calculator one to make it you know, easy. I, I just need to find like a graphical calculator thing. You could follow the steps. The other problem is there's a lot of different calculators out there, so it makes it hard to like pick an exact one that. But um, if you guys are interested in it, then I'd be happy to try. And I want to do zero to ten. I don't really want to show you guys like doing it on the computer just because that's not really that helpful um it's just a it's just a computational so it was skipping the step where i put this in the calculator and uh, oh um wait okay approximation is 101.3 cubic feet okay Water is pumped into the tank. When the height of the water is 5 feet, the height is increasing at a rate of 0.26 foot per minute. Use the model for part C. Find the rate at which the volume of water is changing with respect. Okay, so volume equals F of H times H, right? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the volume 
Okay, no, no, no. What did we say? We said the volume was from 0 to T, F of H, DH, right? So I want to know what DV DT is. And by fundamental theorem of calculus, that's simply um, F of T. Wait, let me just make sure I'm doing this. Find the rate at which the volume of water is changing with respect to how the height of the water is 5 feet. Oh, okay, but I don't know at what time it's at 5 feet. Oh, oh this is not t. This is 0 to h. I really should have said f of x dx. F of f. So it's equal to f of 5, which is 50.3. Oh yeah, 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 this is the pro. Sorry, I, I'm I'm totally kind of screwed. I'm messing this up. Um, okay, I get it now. I, I get what I'm messing up. I'm misreading the question. Okay, so this is definitely the equation of the volume. I got that right. Now the derivative by fundamental theorem of calculus, like this is x here. Let me just clean this up. This really is. It's just gonna bother me that I messed that up so bad. Um, remember, it's zero to h. At a particular h, it's f of h dh, or f of x dx. I use a different variable so it's not too confusing. Okay, now by the fundamental theorem of calculus, I, I you know this is f of h, but h isn't isn't like t because I'm taking the derivative with respect to time, so I got to do the chain rule. Like h is really a function of time here, so I can multiply by the derivative of like that. Okay, f of h is simply fifty point three. Like the h I'm plugging in is it's at five feet, so it's e to the point two times five plus five, and the derivative at that rate is point two six, so point two six. So then this I can do as a calculator: fifty point three divided by. Uh, that's e to the one, so this is e. E to the one plus five times point two six. 1.694 and let's check units um, f of h should have been um, area so that's feet squared so this is feet squared and this is um, feet per minute so it's cubic feet per minute okay how did I do I don't have it prepared. I don't have the, let's see, AP Calculus 2017, free response solution. Scoring guidelines. Let's pop this bad boy up and see how we did. Uh, first one, volume, 176.3. You get a point for the, the sum and the approximation. 176.3, perfect. Approximation is an overestimate because the left Riemann sum is used. Overestimate with reason. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, it is the left Riemann sum. I didn't explicitly say it was a left Riemann sum, but that's that's fine. C integral is 101.325. Yeah, they they did three more two more decibel places. I should have not been lazy about that. Using the model v of h equals zero to h f of x dx. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Blah blah blah. Uh, 1.694 cubic feet per minute. Okay. So there you go. Um, that took a little longer than I wanted, but uh, I hope that made sense to you. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you wanna see more videos or if you have anything to say. And I will talk to you guys in, I will see you in the next free response question.